Good morning. Today we're going to continue with the rules of exponents and we have power of a power. So just follow me on the video, copy the examples. Uh, this is the formula, okay, of power of to a power. If you have a number with a power and then everything to a power, what do we do with the powers? Power to a power, you multiply the exponents, okay? You multiply the exponents. These are the exponents. So let's do these examples. We have first this one. X to the power of 2, everything, all of this, elevated to the power of 8. So your letter, your variable is X. This is the base. And the two exponents are 2 and 8 because it's power to a power. This is a number that is to a, raised to a power and then again, <clears throat> excuse me, raised to another power. So what do we do with the two exponents? We multiply them. So this gives you x to the power of 2 times 8, 16. This is your answer. So guys, these exercises are the basics. We're going to start doing more complex operations. So make sure you understand this. If you have any questions, we can have a Google Meets through video or chat, all right? This one, the base is the Y. And of course, as we go on, we need to be applying all of the laws that we've already learned. So on this one, power to a power, you have negative 3 at the same time raised to a power of negative 4. So what do we do with these two? We're going to multiply them. Negative 3 times negative 4. So why? raised to the power of what? What is the power of, what is the result of multiplying negative 3 times negative 4? That will give you positive 12. So, this is your answer. <clears throat> now, take a look at this. You have power of a product. Uh, find the power of each factor in the parentheses and then multiply. So if you have two letters, being multiplied inside, raised to a power of n, is the same as separating this. You split them, and each one of them is elevated to the power of m, or whatever power you have. So let's do this one. You have a 4, an x, a y, and a c. All these three elevated to the power of 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, let me just zoom in a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is just split them and write them as separate uh, products, okay? But all of them are raised to the power of 3. So let's begin with the 4. 4 to the power of 3. Then x cubic, so I'm going to put it in the parentheses because then it is also raised to the power of 3. Then the y also to the power of 3. And then the z raised to the power of 3. So this power of 3 I just, is like distributing it. Distributing the 3 to the 3 factors that you have here inside the parentheses. So in order for us to simplify, first of all, if we didn't have the letters, what do we see? 4 to the power of 3. So we just do that operation in our calculator. No. Okay. This is my regular phone calculator. So you put 4 raised to the power of three and it gives me 64. So right here, this number comes out to 64. Okay, notice how I cover the letters. Four to the power of three gives you 64. Then let's move on to this one. What do we have? We have X and what do we say power to a power? 
you multiply the power. So 3. Okay. Sorry, I lost the image there for a minute. So I'm, again, I'm going to split them up. 